was actually pretty positive. I, I just have this, I had this mind shift a few years ago where I decided I was only going to worry about the things I could do something about. And if you can't do anything about it, don't worry. Because I, I used to go to bed and all I would do would be dream of work and this and that and I'd toss and turn and finally I just have to, I had to find a way to get my brain to shut off to be like, hey, you're not at work. There's nothing you can do about it. Just go to sleep. And I've been sleeping peaceful ever since. But I, you transfer that to your time when you're awake and it's great. You know, there's not enough money for this. I'm like, oh, these trucks broke down. And my employees are like, oh, they're garbage. Let's throw them away. I'm like, let's see what it's going to cost to fix it first. I'm like, What's the big deal? It's a broken down truck. Yes, it's an inconvenience. Did someone you love die? No. no. Like, there's so many worse things than all these little things. I just stopped worrying about it all. It so makes it real easy to pivot and keep going. Let's talk going. about that. Like, it's, it's easy to say that. It's easy to be like, only worry about the things you have control over. That's a mindset. You're, most of us in this world are habitual worriers. Like we either spend time in the past and we beat ourselves up. I wish I would have said this. I could have done this. I should have done it differently. Or we spend time in the future and we're super anxious. What if, and oh my God, what if the, the world comes to the end? And what if Trump gets elected? And what if the thing, that it's just like nonstop. And we're, it's, a, it's a habit that we're in because of the way that the information is presented to us all the time. So I'm speaking from myself. I'm a habitual worrier. I spend a lot of time in the future. It's not what you're saying. No kidding. No, no shit. Be, be worried about the problems that you have can do anything about. But how? How do you do that? Like, what's the mechanics? It goes beyond that. I think the biggest step in that was making a, a mental shift to realize that I have no competition in this world. The only person I'm competing to or should be comparing myself to was the person that was the day before. So if I'm continually trying to be better and do better and get more and all this, I just go, huh, am I doing better today than I was yesterday? Yeah. And if the answer is ever no, you're like, okay, well, what do I need to do to get, at least get back to where I was yesterday? Yeah. And you make that shift. And it doesn't matter what you're doing or you're doing or anyone else is doing. I'm not concerned with how much money anyone makes what stuff they have i used to be I used to be like i want that stuff or i want this yeah but in making that mind shift change it's getting me to a place where now i'm like huh i'll be doing something and sitting around and going i always wondered what it was like to be the people that sat here and somehow we're the people sitting here right here now. i sit yeah like that's pretty cool that is cool that is cool if you'd like that clip and would like to watch another one click right here if you'd like to watch the whole video, click right here. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. We'll catch you on the next one.